calculation using uh, Philippine Integral Code. So this problem is the same with our pre uh, with our previous block. Ito yan. So this is voltage drop using a circular mill. So this time let's uh, solve using uh, Philippine Electrical Code by uh, impedance method. So the same problem and then uh, uh, different solution. So let's compare if the same lang ba yung approach. Okay, so again, the voltage drop calculation is the amount of voltage loss that occurs through a circuit due to this impedance. So we have a formula uh, voltage drop BD that is key uh, times D times I uh, multiplied by uh, square root of uh, R squared plus uh, X squared. So where I is load current in amperes D is for distance Key is constant uh, 2 for single phase 1.73 to 4 3 phase Where your R is the line EC resistance expressed in ohms uh, X is the line reactance the unit is um so ito yung formula na gamitin natin and then before we solve the uh, problem we have uh, regulations based on sa Philippine political code so let's uh, read the, uh, the rules okay pa from PEC code provisions we have according to article uh, top point 15.1.2 point point uh, quantity A uh, fine print notes number 2 so conductors for figures as defined in the article size to prevent a voltage drop exceeding 3% at the farthest outlet of power heating and lighting loads or combinations of such loads where the maximum total voltage drop on both figures and branch circuit to the farthest outlet does not exceed 5%. So, provide reasonable efficiency of the operation. So, hindi raw pwede dapat ma exceed ng 3%. And then, overall total, we have 5%. Okay? Then, to visualize the provisions, this is the source. The distribution panel we have a branch circuit for this load so this one is our feeder okay so again from source to distribution panel we have uh, less than or not equal to 3% and then for the branch circuit actually 3% uh, and then the overall total must not exceed to 5%. So, pwede ka rito, 3 dito, 3%, this one is 2%. Or, we have 2%, this is 3%. Then, di ka pwede may exceed dapat na 5%. So, that is our provisions. Okay, so let's solve the problem. Then, this is the example, it's a single phase system, 2 bar plus ground. So again, from the utility to the panel board to the uh, farthest out, uh, load, this outlet. So the, uh, the application is residential. So suppose that from utility to panel board, we have uh, two uh, 50 square mm JHN plus 14 square mm and two and one half REC conduit. The length is 8 meters. The load current is 113.15 amperes. Then from panel board to the outlet, we have 2 uh, 3.5 square mm JHN plus 1 uh, 3.5 uh, 
at uh, THHN in 1 half PVC. The length is 25 meters. The load current is 3.13 amperes. So let's solve the uh, voltage drop from utility to PV. That is voltage drop number one. And then from panel board to the outlet, that is voltage drop number two. And then 8 meters and then 25 meters. Okay, so we have a formula the solution. Uh, voltage drop BD1 is equal to KDI times resistance uh, square root of resistance square plus uh, reactance square so x square and then from the formula bd1 is equals to k so single phase the value is 2 the distance which is 8 meters okay and then we have the i the load amperes which is 113.15 this one then multiply the square root of the, the r, r square uh, the value of uh, the resistance of d50 square mm so that is if we look on the uh, pec okay so table uh, 10.1.1.9 and then we use copper wire so the uh, resistance is as 0.120 actually we use our conduit is steel so let's use this uh, column steel and then for the react uh, reactance x okay, this one is steel so it is 0 0.055 square okay and then the unit is uh, wire reactance at ohms per 305 meters so that is why we, we multiply it by 1 over uh, 305 okay so after we get the calculations uh, we have voltage drop 1 at uh, 0 0.77 uh, volts Okay, so to get for the percent, uh, percent voltage drop, uh, we have 0 uh, 0.77 volts over 230 multiplied by 100. So that is our voltage drop 100% is 0.33%. Okay, so that is for our voltage drop number 1. Okay, so let's solve for the voltage drop number 2 from panel board to the farthest load which is the outlet. For voltage drop number 2, BD2, which is we have key times distance times load amperes multiplied by the square root of resistance squared plus x squared. Okay, for key, we have the value that is 2. The distance is 25 meters. The I, which is load amperes, is 3.13. Square root of the resistance square this is our conduit uh, no, no. the wire conductor wire so let's uh, use PVC so it falls on the column of okay. our resistance is 2 so 2 square plus uh, the reactance are okay, let's use uh, PVC 0 0.054 uh, 0 0.054 square multiply B by 1 over uh, 305 so from that we can get the value of uh, we have 1.02 volts okay to get for the percentage voltage drop we have uh, percent uh, BD2 that is 1.02 divided by our system voltage which is 230 multiplied by 100 so our BD2 is 0.44% okay so again so our voltage drop number 2 is 1.02 volts the percent BD is 0.44% from here our summary so our BD1 is 0.77 volts 
Okay, and then 0.33%. And then RBD2 is 1.02 volts. And then 0.44%. Okay, to get the sum, the total BD, that is BD1 plus BD2, that is 0.77 volts plus 1.02 we have uh, the value of 1.79 volts okay so for the percent uh, bd so bd 1 percent plus bd 2 percent so 0.33 plus 0.44 we have a value of over uh, 0.77 percent so it uh, it exceed with the uh, provisions uh, the the depression exceed now five percent so for our problem we have uh, 0.77% so hindi uh, less than 1% so therefore our, our load schedule is our design is uh, fit for the provisions of electrical load so let's compare our solution to our uh, blog previous blog let's compare the answer this one is the voltage trap calculation using circular mills okay Okay, the BD1 by using circular uh, mill method is 0.7276 uh, volts. So our answer is 0.77 volts. The percentage BD is 0.31. So our answer is 0.33. So they're almost closest to each other. So for BD2, we have 1.01 volts .01 by using circular mill. So our answer is 1.02 volts. So medyo malapit lang sila. And then the percent uh, BD is 0.43%. So our answer using PEC is 0.44%. Okay, so they're, uh, they're almost uh, same to each other. Malapit mag magkalapit lang sila. So you have an option to calculate whether by using circular mills or using uh, using PEC okay to recall our um, answer okay so our voltage trap is uh, fit for the provision so therefore it is safe to install uh, or to use the uh, load schedule for fabrications okay so that's all for our content so I hope you understand it our lessons so please subscribe uh, sa mga videos na i-upload ko thank you